Hey, welcome back again. It's Emily. Today, I'm going to do a follow-up to my last video, which was me hanging curtains. The curtains were a little bit too long for my closet, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to shorten them to be a better length so they're not dragging all over the floor, and I'm also going to change the style of hanging because before they had the little loopies on top that um, you feed the pole through but I want it to be like one long channel with like a little bit of a ruffle on top so it covers the gap between the door frame on the closet and the curtain rod so I'm gonna do some sewing today welcome back to my floor where today I'm going to be altering these curtains Right now what we have is these little loopies here that are the way that they're hung, but I think I want to change it so that instead of loopies, I'm gonna make a big channel here and I'm gonna sew two lines so that there's a big channel for there's a channel for the curtain rod to go through and there's a little ruffle on top. So it'll go through the middle here and this part will cover up the gap between the top of the closet and the curtain rod because I had to hang it a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna cut off the loops and the tags and then I'm going to measure so it's all the same length across and then I'm going to sew two lines to make my channel. All right, so now that they're cut out, I think what I'm gonna do is just fold them. I have about a foot of extra length on the bottom, um, but what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just gonna fold them fold them like, I don't know what that is, like four or five inches down and then I'm just gonna sew along this, the sides of this, probably just stitch on top of what the stitches already are there. And then I'll have a new channel here for the curtain rod, and then this will be a ruffle on top. The other good thing about this fabric is that I can line up the stripes to make sure that it's folded straight and then everything lines up, but I think... But I actually need the channel to be a little bit wider than just this part, so I don't know if I want to cut that off. So I think I have this sewing ruler thingy, but you can use a regular ruler if you're altering your own curtains. So I think I want... I want to fold it five inches. Although, no, I'm gonna go four inches. Or actually, that's this whole thing is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is five inches. So. fabric here and I'm going to pin it all the way across I also recommend uh, ironing or steaming before you do this 
because that's just one more way to make sure that everything is lined up properly and everything is going to be even. So I've pinned all the way across and because this is 5 inches wide, it's folded down 5 inches, I think I'm just going to split the difference and I'll, I'm going to draw a line two and a half inches in from the bottom or from the fold and that's where I'm gonna sew my middle line to make the channel the top of the channel so I'll sew one line along this seam already here and then I'll sew another line two and a half inches up from the bottom and that'll be the top of the channel and then the rest of this down here will be ruffles on top I had a hard time drawing a line, so I don't have that. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, but I'm going to sew along this edge first. And then I'm going to go about halfway down. Now I'm kind of just eyeballing it. Um, a good trick is to use a piece of tape to mark where you want your fabric to end up. So like, I'm gonna put mine here for now and that's where I'll line up the end of my fabric. So now I have this channel in the middle and a little bit on top as a ruffle that is not neat or straight at all, but in my defense, these IKEA curtains are pretty low quality. They were made pretty poorly. All of the seams are kind of crooked, so, but I'm not worried about it. I don't really care, so as long as this top part ends up covering up that gap for me. On to the next. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other curtain and then I will hang them up and show you how it went. I freaking look down. And there's a little buggy on my curtain. Where did you come from? I don't know what to do. I don't like bugs. I don't want to kill it, but hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get something to capture them with and put them outside. BRB. All right. Here's how they turned out. So there's a lot less extra length on the bottom. They could still use a good steam, but there was that gap there before that I added the ruffle with that extra space, so now you can't see the gap. There we go, another way to cover your closet if you don't feel like having doors. Love it. Thanks for watching, love you, bye!